Good morning everyone. Today we'll start with the next exercise that is exercise 4.2. It's Wednesday, first period, the date is 8-7-2020. Find the roots of the following quadratic equation by factorization. See, this is the factorization method which you people have already done, it, done in chapter number 2. If you remember, splitting the middle term in the same manner we'll be doing these questions. x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. I have break 3 into 2 parts that is 5 minus 2 is 3 and 5 2 is 10. Remember the middle term formula? In the same manner we are doing it. Now the minus sign will go inside. First of all this x will go inside 5x minus 2x. This minus 5x minus minus plus 2x minus 10 taking common. Taking common from these two and taking common from these two we have got x as common. x minus 5 is there plus 2 x minus 5 is there. Common in whole, x minus 5, x plus 2. Got it? Second part, do it as homework. Third part, under root 2, x square plus 7, x plus 5, under root 2. A very important question. I have break 7 into 2 parts, that is 5 plus 2. Got it? When you will multiply this under root 2 into 5 under root 2, it will get 5 to the 10 only. 5 to the 10, 5 plus 2, 7. x will go inside. A plus sign also 5x plus 2x taking common as x what is left under root 2x plus 5 I have written this I have written this 2 as under root 2 into under root 2 so that under root 2 can be common under root 2 will left here under root 2x plus 5 this can be written in the form like this under root 2 into under root 2x that's 5 under root 2. So under root, under root will be common. What is left? Under root 2x plus 5. This part. Got it? Please see it very carefully. It's a very important question. Now I've taken it, it as common and I've got the answer. Fourth part. 2x square minus x plus 1 upon 8. I have taken 8 as LCM. Yes or no? And solved it. 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. Just solve it by taking 4 plus 4, 8. 4 4 is a 16. Then take them as take, start taking common. You will get the roots. You will easily get the roots. Got it? Very good news for all of you that word problems from this chapter is removed by CBSC. CBSC have removed all the word problems from this particular chapter. But we will be doing the word problem of 4.2 as I've already done it for you. So start doing it. Question number two, do it yourself. Question number three, find the two numbers whose sum is 27 and the product is 182. Let the first number be x and the second number be 27 minus x. How come? First number plus second number is equal to 27. The condition is given in the question. X plus first number is X. It will go this side. Second number will come out as 27 minus X. Now the product of these two numbers is 182. I have solved it. I have taken this to this side. And I further solve it. Just take a look. Got it? You can easily solve them. The next question, find the consecutive integer sum of whose square is 365. Consecutive integers we have already studied x and x plus 1. The square of them is 365. I have solved it. I have got the equation. Just further solve this equation by the splitting the middle term. Got it? The next question, the altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 cm, Find its other two sides. A very interesting question. Let base be x and altitude is x minus 7. It is given in the question. Pythagoras theorem applies b square plus p square is equal to h square. That is base perpendicular and hypotenuse. I put it the value. I put it the value for you and you can solve it. Do it in your notebook. God bless you all of you.